I was reading a book the other day. Reading a book? Yes, it's all about civilization or something. A nutty kind of a book. Uh, Do you know that the guy says that machinery is going to take the place of every profession? Oh, my dear. That's something you need never worry about. One of the brightest stars in L.B. Mayer's galaxy, Jean Harlow. Known throughout the world as the Platinum Venus, she is MGM's resident sex symbol and a major source of studio income. Can you see through this? I'm afraid you can, miss, but I'll wear it. With Jean, I think uh, what you saw was what you got. There didn't seem to be any subterfuge or subtlety about Jean. She never wore a nightgown or anything. She slept in the raw. And then she'd say, oh, the maid may be embarrassed. She'd take her nightgown. She'd rumple it up. She said, I'd put it here. Then she'd think I slept in my nightgown. She was kind of sweet, you know. To the world, Jean Harlow is the platinum Venus. To her friends, she is an amiable, innocent, childlike young lady. On June 7th, 1937, at age 26, she's dead. Ten days earlier, unbeknownst to the studio, she had been stricken with uremic poisoning. Her mother's religious beliefs prevent her from receiving the medical treatment that might save her life. By the time Mr. Mayer finds out, it is too late. The whole studio seemed to be in mourning. Everything seemed to close up on the lot. It didn't exist anymore. It wasn't a star passing away. It wasn't a legend. It wasn't Gene Harlow that had passed away. It was one of our family. So gentlemen prefer blondes, do they? Yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> 